Hey everyone, Cadams Tech here. So in today's video, I want to go over how to go from a junior to a mid-level software engineer fast. But first, if you're new to my channel, remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel with anyone that you know is interested in software engineering. Um, I would really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's go on and get into it. All right, so the first point for this section is I would say communication. Communication is absolutely crucial in the workplace and as a software engineer. So what is it that you want to communicate, right? You need to get a little better at sharpening those skills when it comes to knowing which questions to ask, right? If you're given a, a new feature to work on, if you're given a new bug fix to figure out, you need to know and understand what it is that is going on. Sometimes a project manager will just hand you the task and say, look at the JIRA ticket and that's it, right? But it's your job to go in there and understand what the problem is. And the earlier you can do that, the better. Because then before you get too enwrapped in it and you spend way too much time trying to figure something out that may not even need to be figured out, um, it's better to take a step back and know which questions to ask. So it's our job as a software engineer to understand what the criteria is. A way that you can get better about this is, say you're given a new assignment, right? You're given this new feature to work on, or you're given this new bug fix to figure out. Spend a little amount of time digging in to the problem. So look at the ticket, try to understand what it's saying, look at the Figma, if there's a Figma mockup, um, if it's a bug fix, dig in the code, right? After you look at all the stuff, start digging around in the code and try and understand how it's going to be architected or which areas of the code base you need to touch. Try and dig in a little because more questions may arise. And when more questions arise, uh, you'll need to ask someone, right? So the earlier you can do that, the better. And communicate that. Communicate that to your team. Communicate that to the stakeholder. Communicate that to your engineering manager as early as possible. In addition to communication, Say you're running behind on a project, right? Um, something that I've seen very common with junior software engineers is they'll be running behind on a project and they'll wait literally the last day to, say, to state that they're running behind on the project. Um, something that a mid-level and a senior level software engineer should do is recognize this earlier on. Recognize this maybe halfway through building something or a quarter of the way through building something and say, yep, I think I can see this, the scope increasing on this. So it's going to take longer. Identify that. So how you can, so what you can do is get better at recognizing that something is going to take longer than you initially anticipated. Um, but that comes with experience, which is why it's part of going from junior to mid-level. You need to get better at recognizing this. Another thing is communication in the sense that maybe you have more feedback for people. So say you join a meeting rather than sitting there in silence because you're, you're a junior and you're newer and um, you're, you're probably just waiting to get handed tasks. Maybe you could start getting a little more involved. Maybe you could start pitching some of your ideas. Maybe you could start um, stating, hey, um, yeah, I don't think that is a good approach because of X, Y, and Z, right? And back it up. Um, the sooner you can get better at doing this, the more you're going to be looked at uh, amongst your peers as someone that is skilling up. All right, so that's that's the communication portion. There are many, many other bullet are many other examples that could fall under there, but for the sake of this video, I think if you focus on those, um, you are going to drastically improve those communication skills and look that more than a junior in the workplace. All right, so the next point is confidence slash less handholding, right? Having the ability to break out of that, oh, I need to ask a question for this, I need to ask a question for that, I need to ask, a, I need some help for with this. Um, try and get better at building that confidence, right? And this comes with more practice. This comes with more pumping out more features and solving more bugs and just getting in there and running with it, right? Um, getting your hands dirty and writing some code. That's what that, that's where that experience comes from. So the quicker you can scale that up, the better, um, and the more confidence that you will have as a result of it. Um, additionally, the less handholding, right? So as a junior, there are some juniors that need more handholding than, than others. There's some mid-levels that are like that. There's some seniors that are like that. 
but the idea is to try and need less of it, right? Try and figure it out on your own if possible, but don't spend too much time to the point where it's, it, you're drastically behind on the project because you're too stubborn to reach out for help. So you have to have a balance between time boxing, let me try and figure this thing out, to let me go ahead and reach out for help because it's taking too long. So that's that's a skill that is, it's hard to develop, but once you develop it, you get it, and it's very, very, very useful for any team. Um, so the confidence slash less hand-holding, right? Um, comes with experience, comes with getting your hand dirty, getting your hands dirty, writing code, and having been there and done that. That's where that comes from. So how you level this up is building projects, building features, solving bugs. Um, so the more of that you can do in a shorter period of time, the better. All right, so point number three, right, is improving and refining your current tech skills. What tech stack is it that you use at your workplace? What are the core technologies that you touch every single day? Those are the core technologies that you want to learn inside and out to the best of your ability. Comb over those docs, right? Understand all of the concepts that are listed on those docs. Try out every single concept for yourself just to see how it works, how, how things are structured, how things behave. Um, this is where you sharpen those skills, right? So build many features with, those, with, with that tech. Um, understand the nuances, understand the drawbacks, understand the, the benefits. Um, demo different things to your company, to your team about what you've learned. Maybe, yeah, maybe hold a lunch and learn at your company. Maybe um, host some type of meetup and, and demo those tech skills as well. That's going the extra mile. But really the point is refine your tech stack that you use at your workplace as best as you can. Say you demoed a certain tech. Say you say you were getting really good at React, right? And you're demoing what you learned about React to your company, right? Say you lunch and learn. So others that are less skilled in React at your company may reach out to you and, and look at you as if you're the React guy or the React gal, right? They're going to look at you as if you're the person that is a guru in the subject. They're going to come to you and ask questions. Hey, can you help me out with this? Can you help me out with that? And guess what? Is that something that um, many juniors have? Is that something that you see a lot with juniors, other, other software engineers coming up to you and, and saying that? No. So this is essentially a good way to level up as a junior, right? Get more refined skills in a particular technology. And how you do that is once again, you have to build things with it. You have to put your hands on the keyboard and get those keystrokes in. All right, so these are the three big ones that I honestly believe you need in order to skill up fast from a junior to a mid-level software engineer. I did these three things. I went from a junior to a mid-level software engineer in exactly one year's time uh, for the company. I started off as a junior there and then I was promoted to a mid-level in exactly one year. So improve your communication, improve your confidence slash um, less hand-holding, right? And improve and refine your current tech skills, especially the technologies that you use every single day at work, right? These three things, guarantee you. So I hope you all found this video useful. I have a ton of more content coming out for you all soon. Thank you all so much. Remember to like, subscribe, share my channel with anyone that you know is interested in learning software engineering. And until next time, thank you all.